Hey everyone. In today's video, we're gonna be unclogging a street drain. Unfortunately, we won't have many of these videos in the near future, but we'll definitely be doing them again. The DOT can't prevent us from doing it during torrential rain and incidents like that. It just happens too fast. It knocks leaves out of trees. Wind blows debris into the road. It clogs up and floods almost instantly. It can't prevent that, but I have to congratulate the Mass DOT for doing a great job on preventative maintenance. It has been almost impossible for the last year for me to film any street drain floods. I've only got about three or four in the past year, and three of them were not even major. It's amazing what a little bit of complaining to your local government can do. It has corrected this problem. Cool. Hey everyone, we got a flooded street right here. Let's go ahead and get this small clog out of here. Ooh, look at those bubbles coming up. Letting a lot of air out of that structure. Across the street's good. This drain has some kind of problem. It's going kind of slow. This is like the best place to be during a rainstorm. I'm not getting wet at all, but yeah, if you look, it's absolutely pouring. We got lucky being underneath this bridge. Something's definitely wrong down there. This thing is going way too slow. Either an internal clog or it's overwhelmed from all the other drains picking it up, filling up that pipe. It feels like it's getting slower. It really does. That's about all we can do. That thing is completely open. We're just waiting for it to go down. That is so gross, those nasty bubbles, all oily. All right, that definitely has some internal problem underground, whether it be a blockage or a collapsed pipe. The water is now coming in just as fast as it's leaving. This is gonna take a while to clear up. It's gotta stop raining before it even happens.
exciting at first. Hey everyone, we got a flooded street right here. Let's go ahead and get this small clog out of here. Ooh, look at those bubbles coming up. Letting a lot of air out of that structure. Across the street's good. This drain has some kind of problem. It's going kind of slow. This is like the best place to be during a rainstorm. I'm not getting wet at all, but yeah, if you look, it's absolutely pouring. We got lucky being underneath this bridge. Something's definitely wrong down there. This thing is going way too slow. Either an internal clog or it's overwhelmed from all the other drains picking it up, filling up that pipe. It feels like it's getting slower. It really does. That's about all we can do. That thing is completely open. We're just waiting for it to go down. That is so gross, those nasty bubbles, all oily. All right, that definitely has some internal problem underground, whether it be a blockage or a collapsed pipe. The water is now coming in just as fast as it's leaving. This is gonna take a while to clear up. It's gotta stop raining before it even happens. Everybody, I thought I'd make a quick video clip of this before it's demolished forever. They're about to start demolishing this abandoned house that we've explored a few times in the past. It's sad, it was a nice house with a lot of character, but it sure needed a lot of work, especially with the property selling for a few million dollars. It's prime real estate right next to the highway, easy highway access. It's got, a, I believe, 30 acres. They're already beginning to break ground, building something right there. This house, I can tell they're about to take down. They clear it all around it. And they've even ripped into the roof, whether by hand or with excavator. For some reason, that roof was brand new. It had no damage to it. I wonder what did that. I don't know. Maybe there was a fire in there. But now it looks like it's boarded up, semi-secured. There's no trespassing signs on it. It's got a beautiful slate roof. Pretty cool building. And when this place was lived in, this was a farm. And this was their source of income. That was their little farm stand building right here. It has a walk-in freezer, really nice building. That building is still very structurally sound, but it'll probably rip down too, unfortunately. This whole land, this tree, everything's probably gonna be cleared for who knows what they're building. But look at this, you gotta think back to the family who lived here. Look at this little turnaround right here. 
right alongside their driveway. You can see evidence. There used to be a nice rock wall. You got some daffodils coming up right here. Numerous other flowers that we've seen in the summertime when this place is lived in or from when it was lived in. It was a nice, beautiful property at one point. But that place has a bunch of asbestos, a flooded basement, rotted out floors. It would probably cost half a million dollars to renovate that building to get it livable on top of the massive price of this. And who wants to live next to a no noisy highway? If you have that kind of money, you're not going to want to buy a house near a busy roadway. Yeah, there's a busy roadway behind me that you're hearing, plus the highway over there.